MacHeads101 here today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use system preferences. Now, you probably know what this is already, and if you do, you can skip this video. But um, basically, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, and you probably won't be able to see it, there's an Apple symbol. You just click that and go down to System Preferences and click that. And System Preferences will come up. It's this window that should look something like this. With a little search bar at the top and everything. And um, what this is, is all the settings for the machine. And under System, there might be another topic called Other. And that's where other applications may put settings. But um, I'm just going to show you how to use a few things. First of all, for things like security and users, you will need to authenticate yourself, so you need to click the lock and type a username and password, unless you're logged in as root. If you're logged in as root, the lock will automatically be unlocked and you won't be able to lock it, and you'll be able to set settings. So right here on the main thing for system prefs, you'll see all these icons. You can click one to set settings for it, and um, click the show all button or the back and forward buttons and the show all button goes back to the main springboard if you will and um, so I'm going to show you first how to use network and this is an icon you'll see under um, internet and network and what you do is you can set up your network connection so airport bluetooth ethernet and firewire you can set your location advanced to set stuff you can say your IP address etc and click I'm gonna click airport and then click advanced to see my IP address right there and um, it says all the information you want to know um, another thing is um, sharing which is actually the same topic the same folder and it lets you set all this up you can set up file sharing you can set up actually this is called remote management you click that and then click computer settings and you can check VNC viewers may control the screen with the password and type a password and then people who use something like chicken of the VNC or mocha VNC for the iPhone will be able to remotely connect to your computer and manage it and maneuver your mouse and do stuff like this and you can give a specific user you can also do remote logon and file sharing etc another thing which isn't so as important is speech and um, this lets you set up speech recognition and text to speech and you can click show all to go back to the main thing appearance you can set the um, overall look of buttons etc highlight color etc um, so yeah and another thing is um, with this highlight color you can select the highlight color that's good I prefer blue is a nice highlight color and um, that's default and you can set up everything that you'll see on your screen on um, desktop and screensaver you probably know what this is and these are like tabs up here and um, accounts under system accounts is right there this is very useful it lets you set the logon options down here add an account take away an account lock it of course and you can set automatic login by default um, you on your Mac you will just log in automatically as a user you can set that to be whatever user you want and you can say whether it displays a list of users or a username and password thing and actually that that's a good idea um, so it's good to go around and set stuff there another thing is parental controls all you parents or kids who don't want to get controlled by your parents, whatever, you can go on here, click a user, and select the content they can view, and um, try to limit access to websites, etc. You can set time limits, and you can see the websites they've visited, the um, all, and you can see everything that's ever happened on that computer. Um, you can see the applications they've run. Uh, too useful. You can see the iChat logs, so that's very useful. So um, that's some simple stuff in system preferences. You can also search. Um, and so we do sound, say, and then it will let us select something. And um, so that's simple. S simple system preferences. 
press Apple Q or close click the X, whatever you want to do to get out of system preferences. Um, so that's MacHeads 101 here today, and um, we've showed you how to use system preferences. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave stuff in the comment box. But please, no swearing. A bunch of kids work on this. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, see you later, and uh, bye.